today's video we'll look at how we can design splitwise so splitwise is an expense sharing app which keeps track of who owes who so in case you have paid on somebody else's behalf what you can do on this app is you go on and add that expense on their name such that they can see and pay you back so we'll keep it simple for this video the functional requirement includes that a user should be able to add an expense the added expense can be you know of three type it can be equally split percentage wise split or it can be an exact amount that you have paid on somebody else's behalf and at the end uh, it should have a capability of uh, showing the expense for a single user as well as balances for everyone every user so a uh, non functional requirement for this would be it should be easily scalable and the design in which we are doing it should be flexible let's look at the entity design so the split wise our split wise application will have three things in it the number one is a user map which will contain on all, all the user uh, data like uh, a user id to user map and uh, the other thing it will have is a balance sheet which will have a user id corresponding to that uh, it will have each and every users in it so if let's say you have paid on a b and c so against your user id it will have a map of string and the amount they are having so this will be our balance sheet and a list of expenses that have been added on the app uh inside this if we go on and see the user class user class will have a user id a user name email id and phone number uh, next comes is the expense entity so an expense is basically a transaction that you have done like the expense which you have added on this uh, application it will have an expense id an expense metadata metadata will uh, contain information rela related to that expense like you can add any picture or any name or any url uh, for the others to you know remind them that i have paid at that time for dinner or uh, like anything related to payment data which can be an image or a url name description or stuff like that and it will have a user id who has paid the amount and the amount how much you have paid and list of split in this list of split you can actually add the user ids for which you have paid let's say i have paid to seven members i can actually uh, add that that i have paid for seven members and these are the amounts that i have paid and a split type of course which we have already discussed uh, this i have already told that metadata can be of name image and description and split can be of three type equal percent and exact as it was mentioned in the functional requirements next we'll look at how we can store the data so we can take three databases one is a key value store which can be redis for storing the balance sheet because it's a key value store the other one can be a mysql for storing the expense data we can have indexes on expense id and user id for fast retrieval and the expense metadata because it can it might contain images and other uh, blob kind of uh, like images and all if the images are too much then it's better to store that in blob kind of storage and have that link its link in the uh, sql table so let's look at the high level overview after this this is how technically uh, our app will look a user can add expense through a load balancer to access our web servers and uh, as we discussed we can have three databases the web servers will process the request save data in the corresponding dbs uh, store the information expense information in sql and uh, the balance sheet updation can be done in the key value store which will be uh, ready or error spike and on successful updation it should also notify the other members that someone like someone else has added an uh, expense so that can be done through a notification queue in a asynchronous manner through apple push notification or any other mobile push notification service so this was the high level overview let's dive into low level designing now so we'll actually jump into the coding part now uh, the low level designing so design wise we have uh, 
discussed what all objects we'll be creating we'll just need to implement it now this is a simple hello world program for now and now i'll start implementing all of our logic i will put it inside i'll make a class known as splitwise manager okay just written the code in the main and I am going to now initialize a class okay, I'll call it manager. so our splitwise manager should have users right so we can have have a user class yet I will go and create it another models create a new Java class user so this is our user class uh, it has all the simple properties a uh, user id a name an email id and a phone number this user map is inside the splitwise manager so have, we have one of our entities in splitwise manager the next would be to have a list of expense uh, name it as expense and i'll call that list as its expense list So here's the thing now uh, that an expense can be of three type, right? Percent, exact, and uh, equal. So all of these types of expenses have something in common. So what I have decided is I will create an abstract class that will have all the common entities and uh, whatever each class has different, they can implement it on their own. So declare this class as, a, as abstract so these are the five properties that our common expense will have Ex an expense ID uh, like the ID of the expense that we are entering an amount that I paid how much amount on somebody else's behalf my user id and list of splits so the list of split here signifies that on how many people's behalf i have paid if i have paid 500 rupees and out of this 500 rupees i have paid on 10 people's behalf so this list size will be 10 if let's say i have paid 50 for each so i have spent 500 in total that is an expense but in that expense i have paid for multiple people so that will be added as split and uh, a split class will have mostly a user id on which on whose behalf we have paid and the amount how much i have paid for somebody So the use of expense metadata is to tell what that expense was about. So each expense can have one expense metadata so that others can know okay he paid for me there. Yeah, like you can upload image and write a description. next we should have a balance sheet which we already discussed that it will be a map of string comma map of string of uh, let's say double ok 
call it as balance sheet so we have this balance sheet this will have a user id and corresponding to that it will have all the map of user ids and uh, the amount that you have, which you have lent to someone So, so this is our person split it will uh, we'll have the percent so one thing uh, we need to go back and edit is that if somebody adds a percent split he will only tell me the total amount and the percentage and not the amount basically so it will have I will have the total amount which will be in expense and the percentage not the specific amount that is after proper calculation the user is not supposed to calculate the percent and enter the exact amount the user will only tell me this is what the total expense is and this is how much percent this person owes we will need to calculate and set it up so this is one correction that we should remove this amount from here and in fact from the default constructor as well the amount we will set it should not be inside constructor yeah this looks fine now user id only user id should be there such that i have the percentage i can calculate it later and then do a set amount and set this value i hope it makes sense uh, next So this is what uh, I have written finally on add expense we are passing this uh, enum along with all the details and it will go on and create an expense based on the input that we will get and we will identify from the enum if it is exact then we have the exact amount uh, being given by the user to add inside this split list and in case if it is equal we will take out the amount which is given in the expense and it will divide it by the split list by the number of people and that will be set as the amount against each individual and in case of percentage we will take out the percentage given to us in the input and we will take the percent amount of the given amount and set that in split and Similarly, we'll create an expense type of expense of that type and we'll add that in expense list. So once we have calculated the expense, what next we'll do, we'll add it to our expense list, which is this, which is inside our splitwise manager. And after each expense, we will go and update our balance sheet. So, uh, so this is the update balance sheet after expense method. So what it is doing, it is basically taking out all the splits in that particular expense and it is fetching the person's user ID who has paid and then it will take all the user IDs in the split and the amount which we have already calculated in expense, it will add that amount against the other user IDs. So if let's say I have paid 500 for 10 people, each time 50 will keep on getting less from my amount and finally I'll be at zero and that person will be 
uh, each amount will be against that each individual and this is a show balance just to you know print whatever balance is there uh, in front of anyone so th these are just couple of bunch of print statements we'll run it and check i have taken some user inputs and i have added some mock values and here is the thing which we need to test let's say i have added two splits 20 20 percent okay and i have paid 2000 so what ideally our output should be i have paid 2000 and from these 2000 20 percent should be in front of user 2 user 2 is uh, ankit so 20 percent of 2000 which is 400 rupees so i have lent 400 rupees to ankit and i have lent 400 rupees to user 3 which is akash so I have added this expense here and in the show balance ideally it should print that they owe me 400 each. So this is what is in our output Akash owes Anand 400 and Ankit owes Anand 400. Akash and Ankit are I think user 2 and user 3 uh, correct. So this was for percent. Now if I change it to exact amount or let me do this for equal split. Equal split. For equal split, we need not give the this thing in our constructor. We don't have to give the percentage. We just have to mention that which user for which I have paid so user 2 and user 3 for user 2 and user 3 I have paid and the total amount is 2000 now if it is divided equally among these two users ideally they both owe me 1000 each so we will run and check it oopsie something broke percent split oh my bad oh my bad actually i have not added validation still now we can go that and add add the rate validate also this broke because my split type is percent and i have added equal split uh, we can add a validation but for now let me just write it as equal kind of check yeah so akash and ankit owes me thousand thousand each let us do for that exact split also exact split exact split will only ask me direct amount whatever i have paid so i will enter 300 to him and 700 to him Now from these 2000, the user uh, user 2 owes me 300 and 700. This is just direct amount which they owe me. So it should print 300 and 700 only. Yeah, same. So this uh, was all which I had for this video. In case you found this content helpful, you can consider subscribing to the channel.